be reading to you the diary of Anne Frank. We'll be beginning with The Diary of a Young Girl, the new translation edited by Otto H. Frank and Mirjam Presler, the definitive edition. Anne Frank's The Diary of a Young Girl is among the most enduring documents of the 20th century. Since its publication in 1947, it has been read by tens of millions of people all over the world. It remains a beloved and deeply admired testament to the indestructible nature of the human spirit. Restored in this definitive edition are diary entries that have been omitted from the original edition. These passages, which constitute 30% more material, reinforce the fact that Anne was first and foremost a teenage girl. Not a remote and flawless symbol, she fretted about and tried to cope with her own emerging sexuality. Like many young girls, she often found herself in disagreement with her mother, and like any teenager, she veered between the carefree nature of a child and the truly fledged sorrow of an adult. Anne Frank and her family, fleeing the horrors of Nazi occupation, hid in the back of an Amsterdam warehouse for two years. She was 13 when the family went into the secret annex. And in these pages she grows to be a young woman and a wise observer of the human spirit. With unusual insight, she reveals the revelations between eight people living under extraordinary circumstances. Facing hunger, the ever-present threat of discovery and death, complete estrangement from the outside world, and above all the boredom, the petty misunderstandings, and the frustrations of living under such unbearable strain in such confined quarters. A timeless story rediscovered by each new generation the diary of a young girl stands without peer. For both young readers and adults, it continues to bring to life this young woman who for a time survived the worst horror the modern world has seen, and who remained triumphantly and heartbreakingly human throughout her ordeal. For those of you who know and love Anne Frank, the definitive edition is a chance to discover her anew. For readers who have not yet encountered her, this edition is a treasure.